Oh hi, my name is Mr. Jarrett. You've caught me losing all my money in a game of cards. Let me take this opportunity to talk to you a little bit about cells. This is going to be aimed at Key Stage 3, Year 7 in particular. First, the animal cell, which looks a lot like a fried egg. The nucleus is like the control centre of the cell. It controls what the cell does. The cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance. It's where all the chemical reactions take place. The membrane is a thin skin around the cell. It gives the cell its shape and also controls what goes into the cell and what comes out of the cell. The plant cell doesn't look like the animal cell, but it does share three of the cell's labels. Does share three of the animal cell's labels. Like the animal cell, it has a nucleus, cytoplasm, and a cell membrane. But unlike the animal cell, it also has a cell wall. A rigid case, a rigid coating of cellulose. It gives the cell rigidity in the same way that a skeleton does in a human being. In the centre of the plant cell, you'll find a space called the vacuole. It's where the cell sap is, a weak solution of sugar and salts. In the cytoplasm of a plant cell, you'll find these. These are called chloroplasts. Chloroplasts can contain a green chemical called chlorophyll, which is used for photosynthesis. It's important to remember that living creatures are not just made up of one cell. They're made up of several cells joined together. In this case, if you join several plant animal cells together, you'll make a human being. Thanks for listening.